As I walked through the streets of Lear, what caught my eye were these giant, beautiful globes in the window. I had no idea once I walked in and I was going to meet Hubert, the story that I was going to learn. The North of 35 Backpack Sessions and today we are in Lear, Belgium, at the Preziolite store with Harold. Hubert. Hubert. Ah, oh, I got it wrong. Thank you. Your store is so beautiful. It is, it is amazing and I'll show you more about it in a minute. And tell me, what is your, what have you done since turning 30? What is, tell me your story. When I was 30, I was married. Ah, oh, okay. For the first time. For the first yeah. time. <laughs> uh, when I turned 30, I was again single. I met another uh, girl, which I married with. Yeah. And uh, now we are already 28 years Aww, married. Oh, beautiful. We have two children. Uh, my son is uh, 23 years old. He is going to the university uh, for an uh, uh, engineer yeah. uh, in auto te technology. Wow. And uh, my daughter, she is 21 and she works in the health sector. Mm -hmm. So you've been busy, you've been married, you've yes. had children. Um, obviously, you've worked and now you own this beautiful store. Yes. Yeah. When did you get this store? Five years ago. Five years ago. Before my pension. Before, Before your pension. <laughs> 65 in Belgium, you can go in, in, in pension. Yeah. And, which I did. And uh, I thought before I go, I'm too young to stop working. Yeah. So this all was my hobby before. Oh. Yeah. And I say I'm going to make my hobby my work. Oh, that's so great. So I opened this store uh, five years ago. Okay, okay. Now, what is your what are your big um, accomplishments or things that have happened since you turned thirty? We talked a little bit about life and death. Yes. Uh, one time we were on vacation and I was swimming and I get under the ship. And I was uh, for 30 minutes under the ship without uh, air. Yeah. <laughs> so I was dead. And uh, I saw a lot of things. Uh, in that half hour, I saw uh, a lot of things. Uh, I saw all my life mm -hmm. since I was bo bo born till, no, till then. And uh, then I saw a tunnel with all colors, all the colors, which become afterwards. They turned, they turned, they turned like a kaleidoscope. Yeah. Yeah. And then it it, it went uh, white, 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 and white, and I saw a white light, big white light. And then they say you have to go back mm. because your work is not done. No, no. And so your store is proof that your work is not yeah. done. And you said you also died a second time. The second time, uh, I was in coma. Okay. Yeah, I had uh, meningitis. Okay, of the brain. Meningitis, and uh, we, t we were with three people in the hospital, mm -hmm. and a man of 35 years old, I think, another, and I was the youngest, and I survived it, the other two died. Oh, wow. Because meningitis is very... It uh, is fatal. Yeah. You can die. Yeah. Die. Um, and then, obviously, you've had children, you've opened the store, you've had all these... Any other great things that have happened to you in the last... 35 years? Uh, yes, my, <laughs> my career. Yeah. Hey, I, I worked for a big company um, and um, it was international. So I went in the social uh, dialogue. Mm -hmm. I was in the, the, the Works Council. Afterwards, I was secretary of the Works Council here in Belgium. But we were bought by a big American company mm -hmm. and we were in 15 countries yeah. all over Europe. And they had a European Works Council. So I had a, 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 a mandat, I don't know in English, okay. and uh, I was a, a member of the European Works Council. Okay. Afterwards, the president was old, he got in pension, and I became president of the European Works Council of a big holding for seven years. So how many countries would be part of that European Council? Is that part of the European Union? Yes. 15, 15, 15 countries. countries, okay. Like Spain, Portugal, uh, Denmark, uh, Germany, uh, France, yeah. Luxembourg, Belgium, I'm, Holland. And learning yeah. is quite a big... Yeah. It were all stores, stores are like, like for, from lingerie mm -hmm. uh, or, and, and, and clothing. Yeah. Also, uh, 
do it yourself uh, companies like healthcare no 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 oh. no, no, no. <laughs> with I don't know I I did bricolage don't know that one no you don't know no that one. I know yeah. <laughs> I've been doing this with my friends but do yes. you know the word <laughs> I don't know the word in English no. okay okay. Yeah. And so you did that, and so you were president, and then, yeah, those are... We had, we had more than 1,800 stores and 40,000 people who worked in all, all the, the shops, in all wow. the... the, the yeah. Wow. And so to be married twice and have children and die a couple of times and be a, a president of a big company, what kind of attitude do you think you have that makes you do all this? Oh, that's a difficult question. <laughs> I don't know. I, I cannot answer that. I, I don't know the attitude. You, you have it or don't have it. And you just have it. Yes, you, you must have a drive, a drive in your life. A lot of people, they go to work every morning and in the evening they go home. They yeah. don't have a drive. I, I always have a drive. Yeah. Now, I want to, to, to open this store for another 10 years. Then I'm 78, and then I'm going to retreat. Which you were saying, you most people you know, they just want to get to 55 or 65, and they just want to retire. Yes. And because they're in their head, they're old. Yes. And you don't feel old. No, I feel young. <laughs> <laughs> and you said you're going to go to a retreat at 78, so you're at not 78. you're not going to stop. No, because when I was young, when I was three, four, five years old, I told my parents in that time, I want to be. 104 years old and then I want to die. Really? Your goal is so, 104? So that's, that's my goal. 104 he yes. wants to be. <laughs> yes, that's my goal. Yeah. So when you, you, you have a, 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 a goal in your yeah. life, you, you must reach it. When you say, oh, maybe I go 70 years, then you die at 70 yeah. years. When you say, I want to be 104 before I die, maybe you can reach it. Eh? I, I think you're going to get there. I hope so. So, how do you stop um, fears and negative thinking in your head? By meditation. Okay. I meditate every day. Half an hour, quarter of an hour, when I have time, I meditate. Mm -hmm. uh, I go in deep meditation and then I can lose all my stress and I think about everything. Mm -hmm. it, it, is, it is very, very powerful to go to that quiet place. Yes and let it go. Because I can meditate everywhere. Eh? Yeah. Maybe when I'm driving my car and I am in the, in the fields, yeah. I can meditate. Yeah. yeah. So you've made a practice in your life to uh, a, something you do every day to make it so that you will meditate wherever, whenever, because you know how important it is. Yeah, but I learned what First of all, I learned what is spirituality. Mm -hmm. Then I go read books about uh, uh, Buddhism, mm -hmm. Hinduism, uh, different religions, yeah. which I thought the religion is not good. Because most people think of... Because religion is written by men and not by God, like yeah. they say. Yeah. But, but Buddhism and Hinduism is, is a, a lifestyle. It's written by the people. It's a lifestyle, mm -hmm. and so I thought that's the best you can do is to go knew more about that Buddhism and Hinduism, and for me it's the best. And uh, so I learned afterwards. I learned uh, to meditate, mm -hmm. and for me it's a relief mm -hmm. when I can meditate every day. It's a relief. Mm -hmm. If you could give one piece of advice to the world, to yes. everybody out there, what would it be? What would it be? Live your life in, how well, shall I call it? Uh, honesty. Uh, be honest to everybody. Yeah, speak your truth. Don't live in lies. Mm -hmm. Because, and don't live in illusions. Mm -hmm. Because the most people live in an illusion. They lie all day long. They are not happy. They are not. And you must be straight. Always be straight. That's the best thing you can do. I love that. I love it. So, future plans. 
78, you're going to a retreat? Yes. What other future then, plan? He's going to live to 104. Then, then I'm going to, to, to discover the world. <laughs> I want to be in Australia, yeah. in every continent. Africa, I was already in Africa, America, Europe. I want to see everything. Me too. That's yes. what I'm doing. So I'm traveling the world. So this man is part of the North of 35 community. He is, he's living it. Mm -hmm. Thank okay. you so much. Thank you. Oh. A big hug. A big hug. Voila. That's good. <laughs> That's energy. That's... You can give somebody a hug. <sighs> That's energy. Heart to heart. And also, also one thing. Yeah. That's um, unconditional love. Exactly, exactly. So, let's give kisses to the world. Mwah.